there are several scars on the surface of South America, which at some point were considered the result of asteroid impacts, but which have been refuted by scientific research. This is the case of two supposed Brazilian craters. The Patrocinio crater is 16 kilometers in diameter and is a dome of magma that solidified deep underground 86 million years ago. It is also the case of the Amores crater, which is 5.5 kilometers in diameter and is a rocky dome that solidified deep underground 500 million years ago at the time of the formation of the supercontinent Gondwana. The largest of the supposed South American impact craters is located on the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, northwest of the Falkland Islands. With a diameter of 250 kilometers, the Falkland crater is between 270 and 250 million years old. The Falkland crater is a large oval depression in the ocean floor. In the absence of typical impact, crater structures, such as the presence of an outer ring or a central ring, the Falkland crater has not yet been accepted as fact by the scientific community. But this doesn't stop me from imagining how it might have been created, assuming that the culprit was an asteroid and that it collided with Earth at a speed of 20 kilometers per second and at an angle of 45 degrees. I discovered that the asteroid would have measured 23 kilometers in diameter. The collision would have opened a crater 1,700 meters deep, vaporizing 24,000 cubic kilometers of rock, equivalent to 9 million large pyramids of Egypt. It is estimated that the energy of such a collision would be 900,000 gigatons, equivalent to 18 million Tsar Bombas, the largest hydrogen bomb ever built, which had 50 megatons and was detonated by the Soviets in 1961. The probability of a 23-kilometer asteroid hitting Earth is once every 900 million years. Natural history is spectacular. 